Hi everyone, welcome to the lecture series on Renewable Energy Engineering. I am Neel Trinity, Assistant Professor in Mechanical Engineering Department at LG Institute of Engineering and Technology. Let us carry on our chapter named Solar Energy. In this session, we will study about numericals. So now, let us start. So here, this is the numerical data. Calculate the local solar time and inclination at location latitude 23 degree 15 minutes north, longitude 77 degree 30 minutes east at 12.30 IST on June 19, 2010. Equation of time correct is given as 1 minute 10 seconds. Now, for solving it, let us check the data. Now, what is given the north side? First is location latitude. It means phi angle. That is 23 degree 15 minute north side. Now, let us convert 15 minute into degrees. So, it is 15 by 60. So, which is 23.25 degree. Now, Another which is longitude angle that is 77 degree 30 minutes east and beta, the beta value is equal to 0. Okay, now let us start. Let us calculate the total days. How many days are there? So there are on we have to consider June 19. Okay, and it is 2010. So, if we are considering or seeing 2010, it is not a leap year. Hence, the days in the February is 28. No. Total days, so for January, 31 days. For February, 28 days. For March, 31 days. For April, 30 days. For May, 31. And June, 19 days. So, total number of days are 170 days. Okay. So, now... After finding the number of days, we have to find declination angle. Okay. The declination angle equation is delta is equal to 23.45 sin 360 upon 365 into 284 plus n. Now put the value of number of days, it means n value. So by putting the n value, what you will get uh, as the equation? It is 23.45 sin 360 by 365 into 284 plus 170. Okay, n is the days and we have to put the number of days in that cell. Now, what is delta? So, finally, we are getting the delta as 23.432 degree. Now, here we are getting 432 degree sign. So, we can convert it in minutes and seconds. So, by converting it in minutes and seconds, we will get delta as 23 degree, 25 minutes and 55.2 seconds. Okay. Now, what is local solar time? So, it is considered as LST. Now, what is IST? So, here international standard time is given to us as 12 hour 30 minutes. So, if we want to find out local solar time, what we have to do? We have to put the equation of LST in our numerical. So, what is the LST equation? It is IST plus or minus 4 standard time longitude minus the longitude of the location plus equation of time correction. Okay. So, now let us put the value. LST should be equal to first of all IST. It means we have to put the international standard time value. So, what is the international standard time? It is 12 hour 30 minute. Minus what? So, minus 4 into standard time longitude minus the longitude of location. Now, here plus or minus sign is depend upon what is the standard time. Because the international standard time is greater than 12 noon, hence the remaining value should be negative. Okay, so here minus 4, 82 degree 30 minutes minus 77 degree 30 minutes minus 
what is the equation of time correction? It is 1 minute 0 1 second. So here we need to put it. So finally by solving this we will get 12 hour 8 minute 59 second as the local solar time. Okay. Now let us solve the other numerical of a slightly different time. In, in this uh, session, we will cover nearly three different numericals. So, here it is our second numerical. Define sunrise power angle. Also calculate the day length in Ahmedabad. And where the Ahmedabad is situated, it is 23 degree north. And 22nd December and 23rd March. So, here we need to find out the sunrise hour angle in the Ahmedabad on 22nd December and 23rd of March. So for this we have uh, the latitude angle as 23 degree north and for the Ahmedabad we have 73 degree 10 uh, minutes east value. Here this value you have to remember by your own. Now what is pi? It is 23 degree. Now day length on 23rd of March. So first of all, we have to calculate the number of days value. Okay. So here, uh, it, it is not given to us that on which year. Okay. So we do not need to consider any leap year or anything else. We have to calculate only 28 days for the February. So here, for the number of days, we need to calculate 31 days for January. 28 days for February and 23 days for the March. So the total days are 82 days. Okay. Now, what is the angle of declination? Now, as you know, the equation delta is equal to 23.45 sine 360 upon 365, 284 plus n. Here we have to put the value of n, which is 82 days. Let us put it. So finally. We will get the equation and uh, we will get the equation as 23.45 into 360 upon 365 into 284 plus 82. So finally we will get the answer as 0 0.40365. Okay, this is our delta value. Now we need to find out the day length. So what is the day length? It is TD. What is the equation? 2 by 15 into cos inverse minus 10 phi 10 delta. So by this let us put the value of phi as well as delta. So here dd is equal to 2 by 15 cos inverse minus 10 23 into 10 0 0.40365 which is the delta value. So let us find out and calculate the final value of day length is 12.0 Double to 8 hour. Okay. Now, let us calculate the day length on 22nd December. So, first of all, we have to calculate the total days. So, there are two maps. Either you calculate from January to final 22nd December or you can consider there are 365 days and deduct the remaining days. So, the second method is much easier. So, here number of days, so 365 are the total number of days of the year. We need to calculate at 22nd December. So, here how many days are there in the December? There are 31. So, we have to do 31 minus 22 for getting the remaining days. So, finally 365 minus 31 minus 22. So, finally we will get number of days as 356 days. Now, angle of declination. So, for delta, as you remember the equation 23.45 sin 360 upon 365 into 284 plus n. Instead of n, what we need to write? 356 days. So, finally, we will get the angle as minus 23.0934 degree. Okay. Now, let us consider the day length. So, it is TD. What is the equation? 2 by 15 cos inverse minus 10 phi 10 delta. So, now by putting the uh, values of phi and delta, we will get the day length as 
10.6096 Now, let us check the numerical number 3, which is also a little bit different. So, let us start. Calculate the solar isolation on the top of the atmosphere on 23rd March and 19 June 2011. Take solar constant as 1353 watt per meter square. Now, for the solution for March 23, so let us calculate total number of days. They are 31 plus 28 plus 23. It means 82 days. So now, for the solar isolation, we have to put the equation of solar isolation and it is ION is equal to ISC into 1 plus 0 0.033 cos 360N upon 365. Now what is N in this equation? It is 82 and what is ISC? It is 1353. So let us put both the values in this equation and finally we will get isolation, solar isolation as 1360.08 watt per meter square. Now, for June 19, number of days n is equal to 31 plus 28 plus 31 plus 30 plus 31 plus 19. It means for January, February, March, April, May and finally June. So finally we will get 170 days. Now what is solar isolation on June 19? So it is ION is equal to ISC. 1 plus 0 0.033 cos 360N upon 365. So by putting the value of N and ISC we will get finally ION is equal to 1309.38 watt per meter square. Okay. So this is our numeric. So student this is the study on different numericals. As you see, we have covered different types of numericals. Okay? So here, thank you all of you for watching this video. If you have any query, you can contact me. Thank you.